Hey there, interrupts. It's Poison Pigments here. Um, Mr. Mathman413 is behind me. Hey. Right there. And we went Mac hauling again, which I do too much, but that's okay. Um, we just went to a counter, not a store or a pro store, because A, we can't get into a pro store, and B, um, our closest store store is far, kind of far away, and there's a lot of snow. So, I have a haul, and yeah, let's get started. Um, first, I got the matte gel, which I have wanted for a while and just kept forgetting to pick up. And basically, um, it's just a texture finish, and you can put it on, make shiny stuff look, you know, matte, well, sparkly stuff look matte. And yeah, you can also use it as a primer, um, kind of like the Smashbox photo finish. And yeah, definitely a good buy, good thing to have. I got two paints, Base Light and Bamboo. Um, I'll explain in a minute. Um, the Base Light is of shimmery gold, very like, n not quite yellowy, but more a pale gold. Um, Bamboo is a reddish, shiny gold. Um, gold, no, copper, sorry. Um, I got Prussian PowerPoint Eye Pencil, which is a very nice royal blue, kind of purpley. Um, I actually had originally meant to get the eyeshadow, but she pulled out the Prussian eyeshadow, but she pulled out the eyeliner when I asked for Prussian, and I thought, you know, hey, that's cool. I like that too, so instead of correcting her, I just decided to go with that. Um, I also got the Clear Brow Finisher, which is basically just brow wax you put on after you shape your brows, which I needed, um because mine went missing, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so they finally got some in, so I picked one up. Um, I got a Slim Shine, which I have never had, like, gotten a Slim Shine before, but I decided to give it a try, because it's, a, you know, it's like a lipstick and a gloss mixed together. That's what mine looks like. It's very shiny. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Um, this one is called Missy. It's like a nice corally pink. Um, I got Pro Longwear Lip Color, which I have not tried. I'm wearing it right now, and I love the way it looks on me. Um, this one is called Durashell. And, yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, the color's great. I'm pretty sure the stay is going to be great, considering I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I got this Shirelle Nail Lacquer. Um, which is a bright red, which is what I'm wearing on this hand. My story is that I was going to swatch it for pictures. Never got to this hand because I decided to do this. Um, I've got a paint pot. This is Constructivist. It's a nice, deep, rich, shimmery brown. Good thing to have for um, dark, smoky eyes or neutrals, stuff like that. Um, and I got six new MAC eyeshadows. This one is chamomile from all ages, races, sexes. I always confuse it. Um, this is chamomile. It's a very nice light. It looks white, but it's not. It's more of a peachy color. Looks like that. Um, and mystery, which is a satin. It is a nice brown. Looks like this. Um, there's really not much to say. You know, notice the two next to each other. Can't even see chamomile. Um, I got star violet, which looks like this. It's kind of a maroony. Yeah, it's pretty much maroon. Um, a little bit more red than maroon, though. You can't really tell. It's a bit more red than it shows up on camera. Swish, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Um, it's about the same color as the Brushed Metal X, um, cream shadow I got a while ago, which is why I like it so much, because I hated the texture of the Brushed Metal X. And this gives you the same color, um, with the texture of a Frost shadow. This is figure one, which is a matte squared. Um, it's a nice plum color, shows up a bit deeper than it actually is. The thing I love about Matte Squared is that their textures is so creamy, sort of, while also being very powdery, which is good to work with. As you can see, there's a chunk on there. That one right there. 
Um, it's a very nice plum color. I got a lot of more reddish toned colors this time. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I got Moon's Reflection, which I have been wanting for a very, very long time. Um, it's a very nice blue, kind of like the colors of my walls here in my room. This is a Velux Pearl, which goes on really, really velvety, very nice. This blue right here. Um, it's kind of like tilt, a little bit more blue. I got, and I also got the pigment from all ages, sexes, races, which is, um, this is a universal mix. It's a very white, it's very, very shimmery. Like, probably the most shimmery pigment I've seen from MAC. Um, it doesn't have very high color payoff, but it does have a lot of sparkle, and I love glitter, so, ooh, this is good for me. And they're new little jars, which I don't really like that much. You actually get more um, for the same amount of money. And I don't know if I... Yeah, I got Studio Moisture Cream. Um, because I needed a new moisturizer. It's one of Max Moisturizers. The other one being Moisture Lush. And it comes with this little lid thing to keep it all in there. And this is what it looks like. Um, I was reading about it on the Mac Artist Twitter. And they said it works great under most Studio products, Studio Fix, Studio Fix Fluid. Um, it works best under those types of foundations. Um, but, you know, it's a great moisturizer overall. And then the thing I'm most excited about from this haul is my Alice in Wonderland palette, which I got from Sephora, actually. Um, you guys have probably heard about this. It has this cute little pop-up mirror. You know, it all pops up on the side. Um, oh, there's me. And then there's a drawer here that pulls out um, with 16 eyeshadows. Looks like this. Um, they are called Absalom, Drink Me, Eat Me, Mad Hatter, Jabberwocky, Vorpal, Midnight Tea Party, Mushroom, Muchness, Chesser, White Rabbit, Wonderland, Curiouser, Queen, Oraculum, Alice, and Underland. Um, these are all actually colors from, that Urban Decay has already released, mostly. Um, a, sub, a few of them aren't, that they have renamed for this palette. Let me get this out of the way. Um, they are really great colors, though, and the Urban Decay shadows are very velvety and easy to put on. The only one I was not too excited about are Midnight Tea Party and Curiouser because of the way that the glitter sits in them. It will probably clump up a little bit. But it was worth it because this whole thing was $52 and it comes with two, let me get these out, um, 24-7 eyeliner pencils, zero, which is their regular black, looks like this, and flip side, which is a very nice aqua teal um, blue color. Yeah. And I'm very excited about these because I love their 24-7 um, eyeliners, they stay on. 24-7, and they don't smudge very much um, after they dry. And it also came with a little baby primer potion, and I love their primer potion. Works really well. They have a new wand. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's tilted, so you can get all the product out of the bottle. And it all slides back in with, and then you have the mirror, so if you're on the go, you know, if you're traveling, this is a great kit to take with you because it has neutrals, you can make a smoky, it has the bright colors up here if you do want to do something more daring. It's a great palette to travel with. So yeah, that's my haul. And if you guys want reviews or looks with any of the products mentioned, just leave a comment or message me and I'll be sure to get right to that. See you later interwebs. Have fun interwebbing.